Hello, my name is Jesse, and today I'll be showing you how to monitor a Windows desktop using Nagios XI. This is actually quite self-explanatory, so I won't go into too much detail, especially if you've already watched the Windows Server monitoring video that, that we put up recently. What I do recommend is that you watch the Windows Server NS Client installation video that we made previously because the NS Client installation on a Windows Server and on a Windows Desktop are identical. So you can follow that video and do the, uh, the exact same procedure to install NS Client on a Windows Desktop. Now, I will include a link to that video at the bottom of this video, just so you can you know, click it and watch that one first if necessary. With that being said, let's get started. First thing we'll do is go to Configure, Configuration Wizards, click on the Windows icon, and click on Windows Desktop. Now we type in the IP address of our Windows Desktop and press Next. And the wizard will prompt you to install the agent. That's the agent that I was just talking about. I've already done this installation on the Windows Desktop side of things. Enter the password that you set up and feel free to select any services that you'd like to monitor on this Windows Desktop. Now it's worth noting there are far fewer services in this Windows Desktop Monitoring Wizard than there are in the Windows Server Monitoring Wizard. The reason is most organizations don't concern themselves with monitoring Windows desktops using Nagios XI because desktops, you know, they turn on, they shut down uh, quite often. There's no telling whether a service should be up or down. Some services, you know, start and stop often, they can crash. I mean, there are a lot of reasons not to do this type of monitoring, but we've really tried to strip down this wizard in terms of what you monitor. So we're monitoring only things that typically don't change, like CPU use, uh, like the CPU, uh, the memory, uptime, and the disk usage of those devices. Very bare bones monitoring, but like I said, services on Windows desktops can be unpredictable. Performance counters aren't necessary most of the time. Um, if you do need those things, feel free to run the Windows Server monitoring wizard against a Windows desktop to get those advanced features. But in general, most people don't need much more than this to monitor their Windows desktops. Now I know there is a D drive in this desktop, so I will select that and press Next. I will click Finish, and Nagios XI is going to apply this configuration. With the configuration applied, let's search for our host, 5.67, click on it, and you can see these are the services generated from the wizard that we just ran. Now we'll just use a quick trick, click on the host, click on the Advanced tab, and click on force an immediate check for host and all services. This will check all of the services right now. So it's checking on all the services. Click the blue leaflet icon to go back and you can see that everything is fine except for my disk drive. My disk drive appears to have a lot of usage. There's only 8% uh, There's only eight percent of the disk left. This is a, a problem that I've been you know, concerned about for a little while, but I've been kind of putting off um, doing much about it. Uh, perhaps it's time to do some cleaning on that disk drive. But anyway, that's as easy as it is to monitor a Windows desktop using Nagios XI. If you have any questions about that process, please feel free to reach out to us at the support forum. We're always at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.